Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Welcome back to Chapter 2, Part B. Now that we've got our claws, the first thing that you want to do is run over to Murasa's shop and upgrade them. Upgrading weapons from level 1 to level 2 costs 20,000 in essence. Upgrading from level 2 to level 3 costs 40,000. So hopefully by now you've saved your essence, not bought any health items and you should have enough essence to upgrade your claws. I think after I upgraded them I had about 600 left but I wasn't farming that many UTs and absorbing the essence I was just using the UT essence to go to the next UT. The reason why you want to upgrade the claws right now is because they have a ridiculously overpowered move that we call the flying swallow Zuna drop. What you do is you jump towards an enemy, press Y to do your flying swallow and then you press XY in midair, and you end up turning that flying swallow into an Azuna drop. It has a very long range, it's very accurate, and it kills most small enemies. Now, I usually save before I go to Muramasa's shop, and then save after I go to Muramasa's shop on a different save. That way, if I don't like what I bought, I can always just reload the save and re go buy it. So let's go back here and save, and I'm going to show you how useful this flying swallow Azuna drop really is. Okay, now that we got our claws up to level 2, we're going to go do the bridge fight. Now, ordinarily this fight's a really difficult fight, but with a Flying Swallow Zuna Drop, it's going to be pretty darn easy. I'm going to do the entire fight with the pretty much only Flying Swallow Zuna Drop, just to show you how powerful this move is. The way I typically do it is I don't even let go of the block button, I hold it the entire time, dash out of the block, hit X plus A to jump towards the nearest enemy, Y to Flying Swallow, X, then Y. You don't need to mash the buttons very fast, you have plenty of time to put the buttons in. So here we go. Now you want to be taking out the IS Ninjas first. Now unfortunately I'm doing a poor job of demonstrating that. Nice, give me Red Essence, I don't even have my Nimpo equipped yet. And of course I happen to miss the UT. Another option for this fight, if you don't want to do the Flying Swallow Zuna Drop over and over again, because it's extremely boring, effective but boring, Use it a couple times to kill a couple enemies, get your essence, and then start doing Lunar 360 UTs. Absorb that essence so you get more essence. Switch back to the claws. <laughs> I love that counterattack. Get a couple more yellow essence and do another UT and go back and forth. You'll gain essence a lot quicker and you can upgrade other weapons or buy items a lot easier. Yeah, another counterattack. Okay, right there I missed a flying swallow. I mean, if you miss a flying swallow, you end up doing a downward stab with the claws. So I pretty much have not let go of the block button this entire fight. Now right there I missed the first X. And I did the downward stab with the claws after I did the flying swallow. Oh, I've got a incendiary shuriken, so do a guillotine throw. But see how little I'm getting hit with incendiary shurikens. But the only time, biggest problem I have with this fight is a lot of times a lot of enemies will be attacking me and I'll be stun locked. So if I'm getting hit over and over again with my block, I can't move until I get an opening in the attacks. I see the mage way up there. They haven't come down yet because I'm up so high they're a little bit confused as to where I am. Now, okay, now they're down, now you got to be careful. What you want to be doing is targeting the mages first so you don't get hit with a nasty projectile. So here they are. Quick, go get them. And again, I'm sorry for this being so boring, but you can see how much easier this makes IS Ninja fights. So if you're running into problems, this is the move for you until you learn how to fight them well. So now I've got my life much higher than it was before. I'm going to get ready to go back and save, and then we're going to do the Rod of Trials fight. And since I spam this one move over and over again, I'm going to do a mixture of Lunar and Dragon Sword for the Rod of Trials fight. The other thing I want to mention before we get to the Rod of Trials fight is if you're fighting for blue essence and your health is low, don't absorb the blue essence right away. Kill a few more people because you're more likely to get blue essence with low health. I know it's tough not to absorb the blue essence right away, but try it out. When you're really low in health, you'll get a lot more blue essence. Okay, now for the Rod of Trials fight. I have this game installed on my hard drive, so one of the loading issues with this fight is pretty much resolved, so I'm going to start off by taking out all the archers first. Start off with the Flying Swallow. Normally only kills one, but this time I got lucky and killed two. 
switch over to your Lunar. Now, this part of the fight is absolutely insane. I do Lunar's regular UTs and watch us fire. I just killed about six people at once. Now, I'm gonna have my Essence staggered here. You can see I got still Essence there. This UT is gonna end without IS stuck in me, so I'm gonna go right to another UT. Okay, now I'm getting away from the archers, so I gotta get back over the archers. Get there. Okay, now this regular UT in this area just absolutely obliterates all of your enemies. Okay, almost done. Just a couple more archers left. Once we got the archers taken care of, this fight becomes much, much, much easier. Nah, I love the crunching from that move. Okay, take care of a few more IS ninjas. And then I'm pretty much getting sick of the Lunar. I'm noticing my health is getting low, so let's go over to the Dragon Sword. Right there, counterattack XXY. Do you see how many iframes I got with that? And there, another one. It's a great way to get a lot of iframes because those moves take a long time to complete.